hello welcome back i'm gonna have a quick walk around the garden do you want to come with me <laughs> it's hot today it's about 25 degrees it's lovely everything is coming to life thank goodness yeah really pleased with it the wajelia has just gone over That huca is doing well after I moved it. I'm going to have to clear this patch out. There's too much there. <laughs> Look at this. Every year, it just gets better and better. <laughs> it's a bit scorched. Got a bit scorched. That's how hot it is. Oh, we've got flowers on the honeysuckle. That's the first time I've seen that. Um, Mr R's tree took a battering, there was a cat had got a bird, a magpie, and all the other magpies came and attacked and all the leaves have fallen off. <laughs> Huc no, not Hucara, the hosta at the back here, it's really big now, don't know whether you can see that. And then this is just going from strength to strength, isn't it? It's almost covering the shed, which is great. Yeah. I've started to add sand to the beds to try to help with the um, clay problem. Fingers crossed. <laughs> the grass is coming now as well. I've been working on the grass, feeding it, weeding it. <laughs> I did add some um, grass seeds as well. Is Ted, Ted's just inspecting. <laughs> Olive tree's doing well. I was really cruel to it, I really hacked it. But it's just coming back better and better than ever. And I think I've got my first buds on the roses. None of the other roses have got them yet. So I chuffed with that. The hydrangeas are now beginning to get their buds as well, which is lovely. Now we had a move around on this bit, didn't we? This is a Pittosporum globe. And it was over there and you couldn't see it. So there was a dead plant there. Mr R took it out for me and moved that into its spot. And it's doing really well. Hostas are getting eaten on this side really bad. Well, the big ones perhaps not, but that one down there is. So that one looks okay. A few holes, not many, but this one, they've ravaged it. The one at the back, look at that. If I can get to it, look at the size pot it's in. I think we're definitely going to have to repot that at the end of the season before it disappears. Oh, treading on my whatever that is. We got that from a um, plant show, didn't we? Yeah, that's everything in there. These white purple flowers are all new. They're, we got those at that plant show in Stamford. And I've added a geranium here as well. That's nice. I'm not sure what this is going to do. It is coming back this year, but I don't think we're going to get flowers from it. This is a... I'll be able to tell you in a minute because I've got one over there with a the label on. I can't remember. That fuchsia at the back came from the front of the house. When we had the driveway done, it had to be dug up. It was massive. It took up a lot of space. People had to go, 
squirm past it to get to the front door and we cut it right down and it's in there and that's coming back beautiful and look at all the peaches this year dad's really upset because he's lost his peach tree and his always did better than mine but it had a talking to last year if it didn't perform it was going to go and it has performed <laughs> I've taken half of what was on it off in the hopes that these will get a bit bigger yeah I've had to prop this up oh there's a bee can you see it there's a bumblebee that's it enjoying but it kept flopping onto the grass and I was cutting half the flowers off with the mower so I've had to hoik it up so it does look a bit silly but hmm. my favorite plant is now through my arum lily I don't think we're going to get flowers on that for quite some time yet another month maybe and I think this is going to come out I don't like it it's all it always looks a mess whatever I do to it so that's that Mr R's daisies have come back with a vengeance and we halved those we pulled it out and got rid of half of them some went to my friend because she's just redoing her garden. What else is in here doing well? This is new as well. That's a that's another salvia. And this is in flower now. Yeah. <sighs> Can't remember what it's called. That one's done well that we hacked back. And this eucara, look at the dead leaves. And yet the label says full sun. It's flowering well though. And there's quite a few flowers on the hydrangea on this one at the back. Which is good. Okay, shall we do this little bit here? These are new, the geraniums, they're new. And this is all new as well. Look at the colour of that, isn't it delicate? It's beautiful. The palest of pink, almost white. Coleus, that's going great guns. But they do, don't they? They really perform. And my lilies have got buds finally as well, which is great. This is still the winter pansies and they were lolled and leggy so I just cut them off. It's all coming back again now. <laughs> so they were a bargain. It's another arum lily. Now my dahlia. No idea what's the matter with it. I came out one morning and it looked as though it needed a big drink. And it's being watered the same as the others and it's just not happy so I'm not quite sure what to do with it any suggestions please put them in the comments because I'd love to know what I'm doing wrong with it it's been fed it's being watered that one was drooping this morning but it is perking back up you can see I've given it a drink and that one is fine without fig tree we are wondering if we might get some figs this year because it's gone crazy. So yeah. Lupins. I've got one lupin bud. Out of all of these plants, just one. So I'll get one flower at the very least. There's still time. A couple of them are new, so they might not flower this year. Look at this dahlia. Isn't it pretty? These little bits that you can see, they self-seeded from a hanging basket last year in the crevice of the floor and the wall. So I pulled them out and stuck them in and crossed my fingers and they've taken. So that's lobelia, purple lobelia, which is great. 
the lilac's finished, but I've given it a haircut and trimmed it so that it's tidy for the winter. Winter. <laughs> Hibiscus, that's the word I was looking for, for those plants that we hacked right down. This is a new one and I bought it for the colour. It's white with a purple throat. It's beautiful. And it's got buds. And I didn't expect that this year, so I'm really, really chuffed. Really chuffed. In fact, there's quite a few buds. Look at that. Look at the colour of that. Isn't that beautiful? Another dahlia. See, that's okay as well. Nothing wrong with that. That was just a few annuals that I had. And I put them in there. And I had a huge geranium in that pot last year. And we thought it hadn't survived, but if you're able to bring the camera around this side, I can show you. Look at that, I've got growth. Isn't that amazing? Absolutely brilliant. This has gone over now, this was a winter one. So I'm not too worried about it and it's full of weeds. So I I'm going to take it down and just leave it. I probably won't fill it now because it's the middle of June. It's a bit late, really. This is doing well. But again, been eaten. It's been attacked. Somebody's had a good meal on it. And my hydrangea, again, I think it's going to need a bigger pot. <laughs> and I've only found one lot of buds on this one no more so hopefully there'll be more if you don't perform you're out <laughs> that's what i said to the peach tree like uh, yeah um what are these heathers they don't look as though they're doing very well but they are the winter ones so maybe they'll die back and then come back but i have cut them down so i don't know fingers crossed and that's it i think yeah Nothing else exciting is happening really, is it? So, no. I hope you enjoyed having a little look around my garden. Take care, look after yourself. Bye.